Hello YouTube. This tutorial is perfect for the advanced beginner who wants to take her skills to the next level. We'll explore how to create 3D text and use depth of field to enhance a design. Let's begin. Open the Adobe Illustrator. Here I have used the Adobe Illustrator CC. You can use it or another like Adobe Illustrator CS6. Take the type tool and start by typing each letter separate so you can adjust the angle and 3D qualities of each. I'm using a font called Futurabled. I'd recommend using a font that is not thin and delicate. The more weight the font has the better. Align the separate letter and align and change the letter size as you want. Change the letter color as a gray. Select the first letter T and go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. In the 3D Extrude and Bevel options, check the preview and x-axis 46 degree, y-axis minus 26 degree. Z hex 6 8 degree, extrude depth 30. Now click OK. Same process can be applied for one by one letter by interdistinct letter. Select one by one letter and change the random font size for each distinct letter. Rearrange the letter, just like some random position. Select the letter T, using the selection tool, and open the color picker. Set, the color, hex value, D, F, 1, A, 2, 3, and, Click OK. Use the same technique on the other letters. Use the swatches palette to quickly pick a range of vibrant colors and apply them to each letter. Duplicate this whole effect and we will use it later. Now create the appearance of some letter objects being closer and farther away. To do this, select the letter E and go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. In the Gaussian Blur panel, check the preview and set the radius, 20. Now click OK. To create an even wider focal range, you can give different letters a unique blur amount. I have applied the blur effect value for the letter H is 27, U is 27, S is 20. From the duplicate object copy, select the letter T and right click on it. Select ungroup. Separate the letter T object front face. Now I would like to apply the gradient effect over the letter. From the gradient panel, select gradient RGB color mode from almost red to black. Using the gradient tool, you can change the gradient color direction for the object. Place this object over the main object, T. Same process, I would like to apply for another letter H. Select the letter H and right click on it. Select ungroup. Separate the letter H object, front face. Now I would like to apply the gradient effect over the letter. To match the color, you can pick the color from main object H. From the gradient panel, select gradient RGB color mode from almost light orange to deep orange. Place this object over the main object H. Here, 
One issue must be consider is that the main H letter object is blur. So you need to blur the front face of the H object. To do this, select the object and go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. In the Gaussian Blur panel, set the radius 20. Same process, you can apply for the remaining letter object, C, T, and use this same technique to create any other letters that need it. After done this delete, the supporting text letters object. Take a rectangle tool, and create a rectangle, over the viewport. Set it background color, as linear gradient. In the gradient panel, set the gradient point, in the position 25%, and position 75%. In the gradient panel, set the hex color value. In the position 0% is 00AA31. In the gradient panel, set the hex color value. In the position 25% is 6AFFA1. In the gradient panel, set the hex color value. In the position 50% is white. In the gradient panel, set the hex color value. In the position 75% is 6AFFA1. In the gradient panel, set the hex color value. In the position, 100% is 00AA31. Set the gradient angle is minus 90 degree. Now take the pen tool and draw an irregular wave shape Set this color is almost gray. Right click on this object, and select Transform, Reflect. In the Reflect window, check Vertical, and click Copy. Then reflected object will be copied on it. Place this object by holding Ctrl plus Move button. Select the both object, and group them, by press Ctrl plus G. Set its opacity, 40%. Now go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set the radius, 72. Take the Pen tool, and draw another irregular wave shape, on the background. Set this object background, as Gradient. In the Gradient panel, set the Liner Gradient, which has two points. And set Type Liner. Set this object opacity 20%. In the gradient panel, set the last gradient point, is light yellow. Select this object, and go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. In the Gaussian Blur panel, set the radius is, 72.5. Now the background layer is ready. But still we would like to some object over it to be more realistic. Take the ellipse tool, and set it background color white. Draw a circle, over the background layer, simply, copy, and paste this object. You can resize, this circle as you want. Apply the same process, and create several circle, in random position, over the background. Copy one circle, and turn off its background color, and set its stroke to pines. Place this object, in random position over the background. Take the rectangular tool, which background color is turn off, and set its stroke to pines. Place this object, in random position, over the background. Now reposition the text effect, over the background layer. If text effect layer is not visible over the background, then right click on it, 
and select Arrange, Bring to Front. Now resize the text as you want. Select some circle and square object and set their opacity 60%. Now go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. In the Gaussian Blur panel, select Necessary Radius Value. Again select some random circle and square object and set their opacity 40%. Now time to create shadow, below the text effect. Take the ellipse tool, and draw a basic ellipse, and fill it a gradient color. In the gradient panel, set a point in 25% position, and another is 75% position. In the 100% position point, set the color white. In the 0% position point, set the color white. In the 25% position point, set the color light gray. In the 75% position point, set the color light gray. Now go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. In the Gaussian Blur panel, select Necessary Radius Value, and select the transparency level as, Multiply, Resize, or Reposition this shadow ellipse object, as you want, and select its opacity. 70%. Now you can see a shadow has been made below the text effect. Now you can save it as an Adobe Illustrator format for the reuse purposes. Also you can export it as an image format as you want. Here is the final image. You've just learned how to create a vector 3D letter design. Have fun!